What would happen if all Russian tanks were equipped with the Arena-M active protection system? In addition to the T-90M, Russia has now begun to utilize the T-72B3M, which has been mass-modified with the Arena-M active protection system. This change is not just a technical upgrade, but a strategic move that highlights the great potential of this iconic Russian tank. With advanced technology integrated into it, the T-72B3M has become a combat machine that is extremely difficult to defeat. The T-72B3M has played an important role in various major attacks. One example is its involvement in the destruction of enemy platoon defense fortifications and combat hardware around the Kharkiv area. Additionally, this tank contributed to destroying vital positions of the Ukrainian armed forces, including taking down UAV command posts, destroying heavy artillery, and striking multiple launch rocket systems in the Kherson region. Each of these attacks not only succeeded in breaking through the enemy's defenses, but also demonstrated the bravery and resilience in facing massive threats. Furthermore, the T-72B3M once successfully breached the defense lines around South Donetsk, assaulting enemy fortifications that previously seemed impregnable. This success further emphasizes the tank's reliability in overcoming tough challenges in a dynamic battlefield. All these achievements highlight the importance of armored vehicles for Russia's continued survival. As armored positions are now vulnerable to attacks, and reliable protection becomes the key to ensuring these tanks remain standing strong and not easily incapacitated by enemy strikes. This is where the Arena M active protection system showcases all of its advantages. Let's take a look at what it offers the T-72B3M. In a recent report, Militarnia revealed that the Russian military has recently introduced the upgraded T-72B3 tank, which now features the Arena M active protection system. This advanced system is designed to intercept anti-tank missiles, offering better protection for combat vehicles against threats from long-range weapons. Let's take a closer look at how this technology actually works. On the turret of the vehicle, the Arena M system is equipped with launchers for counter ammunition and advanced radar devices. This radar is responsible for detecting high-speed objects, such as missiles or projectiles, approaching from any direction. Once a threat is detected, the system immediately begins the process of calculating the speed and flight path of the incoming projectile. Next, calculations are made to determine the most effective interception point. Once this point is identified, the Arena M system sends a signal to launch a countermeasure that will explode in the air, creating a directed flow of debris to precisely strike the target. In this way, the Arena M technology provides an additional layer of protection that can improve the tank's survivability in modern combat, which is filled with missile threats and advanced anti-tank weapons. The Arena M system is an advanced innovation in the field of active defense, specifically designed to protect combat vehicles from the threat of anti tank projectiles that could damage or destroy the vehicle. Its primary goal is to detect, track, and neutralize threats before the projectiles reach the vehicle, providing maximum protection in modern combat. This system uses highly advanced radar technology to detect approaching threats, differentiate between harmful and harmless objects and activate interceptor charges that destroy the projectile in the air. With the ability to detect guided anti-tank missiles and other high-speed threats, Arena M significantly enhances the tank's resilience against enemy attacks. One of its advantages is the radar's ability to distinguish between real threats and harmless objects such as debris, small arms fire, or environmental disturbances ensuring that only potential damaging threats are responded to. Remarkably, 
One of the most outstanding features of Arena M is its ability to provide more accurate threat identification and quicker response times. This makes it more effective against next-generation threats. By intercepting projectiles at closer distances to the vehicle, the system greatly reduces the likelihood of armor penetration and minimizes the risk of casualties among the vehicle crew. The Arena M system is not only found on Russia's main battle tanks such as the T-90M, T-80BVM, and T-72B3M. There have even been reports, such as those mentioned by Bulgarian military, suggesting that special vehicles like the heavy flamethrower system TOS-1A are also being considered for this technology. The modular nature of Arena M demonstrates that the system is highly flexible and can be adapted to various future Russian tank designs. Furthermore, this system has the potential for continued enhancement with additional sensors and new countermeasure methods as anti-tank threats become more sophisticated. Therefore, Arena M is not only a solution for today, but also a long-term investment in the protection of Russia's combat vehicles in the future. The threat to armored vehicles now comes from various types, ranging from quadcopters to high-speed FPV drones, which can undermine the effectiveness of traditional protection. An analysis by Topcore.ru shows that although FPV drones are considered difficult to counter, Arena M, an active protection system, can prove its ability to provide effective protection for tanks, especially against kamikaze drone threats. The T-72B3M, one of the tank models, is equipped with an anti-drone visor installed directly from the factory. This system is designed to protect the tank's turret from FPV drone attacks strengthening the durability of armored vehicles on the battlefield, which increasingly relies on technological updates and mass production. So it's not only the Arena M system that plays a role, but also the inherent advantages of the tank itself. The sustainability and survival of armored vehicles today heavily depend on their ability to counter this new threat, which continues to evolve with advancements in drone technology. What is Ukraine's perspective on this Russian upgrade? That's all for today, and thanks for watching.